Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. We're going to do another Patreon exclusive video. We're going to talk about VHS tapes, uh, not only Disney, but some other type of things to look out for. We're going to look at the cream of the crop. You're going to learn a few things. We're going to take a few minutes to do this video and I hope to do some more of these in the future. Just kind of quick hits on different things that I know about and what to look out for. So you can be uh, a semi expert at the field when you're out there, you know, learn, learn a little bit about something and take away some information from these videos. So I definitely appreciate everyone that is supporting the Patreon. I do appreciate it. So here is an exclusive video just for you. We're gonna talk about VHSs. So uh, let's get into the Disney VHSs real quick. I do have a video and I'll put a link up above if you wanna dive deeper into the v Disney VHSs because there's a lot of you know, um, hype and speculation with the black diamonds going for thousands of dollars. But uh, I will tell you, and in this video, I'm going to show you the only VHS Disney uh, tape that's worth, you know, over $200. So we'll get into that in just a second. But the first one that usually a lot of people know about is Song of the South. Now, to my knowledge, there isn't a U.S. version of this, though I haven't seen it. Doesn't mean it's out there. I haven't dug too deep into this particular a title i know that it's got racial overtones why disney pulled it disney doesn't even have this listed uh usually on any of their kind of things even though you know if you if you go to disneyland splash mountain is basically uh you know the, a take on brer rabbit in this particular uh, movie so uh for those that don't know you, you don't know what i'm talking about the u.s version because this is the pal uk version and you'll notice with the u in this green triangle here that stands for universal it's basically uh, like a ratings system and basically universal means that any age could watch this it's basically like our you know pg-13 r rating system here in the u.s um the you know the mpaa rating this is, happens to be a uk rating so when you see this this is usually the only ones you're going to find they usually come in these plastic cases which is kind of like rental cases and you can see it's got a legitimate um label Labels got rounded corners. Uh, if you ever see labels, usually with squared corners, and we're going to get into that in a second, usually kind of uh, bootlegs, but uh, we're going to get into that in a second. So here we go. This is the US bootleg version. As you can see here, it's a really shoddy kind of copy of a copy. As you can see here, they kind of photoshopped out that U that's over there in the corner. Uh, the label looks very off because it's done in an inkjet printer. See how the corners are squared or they're not rounded and this is basically a bootleg version that someone created uh, using post-production stuff and these still actually go for some uh, you know people still sell this but just if you see this I doubt you're gonna find this on the field this is basically stuff that people just made to sell on eBay uh, which is kind of illegal I think in in certain things because it's copyright infringement as you can see here they even kept the universal uh, suitable suitable for all logo um, they didn't even really do a good job at this uh, kind of bootleg copy i'm sure the the tape is fine as far as like you know it looks like you know they did a fair job as far as the reproduction of it but it's just something to look out for uh definitely look out for a song in the south especially you're going to find this version the uk version with the um the u i've never seen one of these in the field because you know these were produced in the uk but if you ever come across this particular one that's what to look out for uh, the the number one Disney VHS that you really got to look out for, and this is a legitimate price. This one sold for five hundred dollars on January fifteenth. Uh, this is one of the the rarest and hard to find true Disney VHSs that were is, is really hard to find. Uh, cars, everyone knows about Cars. I think this this movie came out in two thousand and five. I want to say. Let's see if it shows the two thousand and six. Uh, what makes this so special is this was a i want to say this was a disney vhs exclusive there used to be this disney thing that used to mail away for you know certain movies it, i think it was like called the dv it's called the the disney movie rewards club or something like that but this is the exclusive uh this was the last disney vhs ever produced and there wasn't really much of them made uh, i can almost guarantee there's some storage unit or some somewhere somewhere that has boxes of these that are just sealed that someone put away in a corner because you know they didn't really make too many of these they were kind of exclusive to that movie uh, rewards this was the very last 
VHS that Disney ever made. So if you ever see this Cars VHS, there's also a Japanese version. Let me see if I can back up a little bit and show you the Japanese version still goes for a pretty crazy amount of money. Now, I don't know if this is a movie rewards one either, but this is pretty rare and it's still uh, out there. This is a sealed one. It comes in a, in a plastic clam shell case. So definitely look out for these ones when you're out there and about. Um, I wanted to show you kind of some other VHSs and a, and a really quick trick too before we get into anything. Some of you might not know. Uh, and actually, let me see if I'm able to see this in... Okay, good. Now... Do you see how I have in the search box there VHS and it's got a dash Disney minus Disney minus Beauty and the Beast? Some of you might not know that you can actually take away search uh, keywords if you're looking for very specific stuff. Like let's say I'm looking for VHS, but I don't want to see any Disney stuff. So you go minus Disney minus Beast minus Mermaid. So I'm kind of narrowing it down. Like you see Aladdin. If I go uh, minus Aladdin... The uh, minus Aladdin, all the Aladdin stuff should go away that has Aladdin in the keyword. See how that works? So if you don't know about that, now you know it's an easy way to search if you're if you're kind of like uh, trying to pinpoint a very specific thing. Like let's say you know I wanted to look at all the VHSs that weren't Disney. You know even though ones are going to pop up because they didn't put Disney in the keywords. Uh, but it makes it a lot easier to scroll down and see a lot of stuff that is pushed out of the search. So if you didn't know about that, uh, now you know. I want to show you guys something real quick about horror movie VHSs. Some of them go for a pretty crazy amount of money. Uh, as you can see here, $200, $200, $200. Under 99 There's a lot of horror VHSs that go for, for a pretty good amount of money. There's a lot of them that go for over $100. Uh, you'll have to look for them and if it just looks like a funky vhs that looks like horror movie you know definitely uh pick it up there's a lot of different ones to look out for and there's a lot of really odd um just horror movies that you, you know they're, they're that are very very rare and you know if you find them and you can pick them up for like 25 cents even like you know stuff like Friday Thirteenth. If you can find the the very first versions of those sealed, uh, basically the the most common horror movies like Friday Thirteenth, Hellraiser, Freddy Krueger, all those kind of ones. They've made multiple versions of them, f trying to f trying to find the very first ones, uh, like the Sleep Away Camp Four. Look at this, you know OOP. Uh, if you ever see OOP, that means for out of print. They use that OOP a lot for even uh, DVDs and stuff like that, but uh, just look out for horror genre VHSs out there, especially the older ones. Uh, next up, uh, this is uh, we've talked about WWF and wrestling VHS to look out for. This is the number one VHS to look out for. It's Bash at the Beach 2000, July 9th, 2000. This is what the the cassette looks like. It's got a print printed on label. And uh, this one sealed goes for over $500. I've seen those before go for that much. So uh, definitely look out for those. And so um, this Bash at the Beach, this is WCW. This is this is not WWF. So you could do the same thing like, you know, minus WWF if you're looking for this thing uh, specifically. So um, definitely check out this. There's a lot of actually uh, wrestling VHSs that go for uh, a pretty crazy amount of money that are out there if you're looking for collections and stuff like that. And so definitely look out for Bash of the Beach. This one with Booker T and Hulk Hogan on the cover. So definitely look out for those. Um, next up is basically sealed DVDs or sealed VHS, as I should say. There's a bunch of uh, different ones from all different kinds of uh, genres and stuff. And so definitely look out for the, the older... Star Wars ones, and uh, there's some different Star Trek ones. There's the original Star Wars trilogy from CBS Fox. This is what the Star Wars trilogy CBS Fox one looks like sealed. This is the very first version of Star Wars that ever came out on VHS. This was actually a really big hit uh, back in the day, and so uh, this is what the original one sealed. These are actually really hard to find sealed. That's why they go for so much. Uh, now, $500, I don't know exactly 
if this one actually got bought for that much but they do you know some of those sealed ones still go for a pretty crazy amount of money so definitely look out for those uh lastly let's talk about blank vhs's and uh you know we'll talk about the the original sealed blank vhs's you know if you can find these under two dollars a dollar a piece definitely pick them up i've sold these in lots now they're kind of heavy and so just remember that when you're doing shipping but there's still people that actually purchase this especially in the post-production uh, these are very hard to find sometimes and out of print so you know sometimes you can find these at wholesale wholesale auctions estate sales you know all in boxes and they're sealed and you know usually you can put some you can sell these individually on amazon and you could send them into fba but for the most part just lotting them up like this and selling them if you can get them cheap enough is is the way to go now the other thing about blanks is sometimes you can find home movies that have been recorded like you know old tv shows that actually go for a lot of money um like this one almost went for 400 dollars. now what happens is uh this one's from 1978 the older the better because what happens is people buy these just for the commercials and they'll actually rip these um, with software and hardware and they'll actually upload these commercials to uh, YouTube. There's whole channels just dedicated to commercials and there's a lot of money to be made in uh, reproducing these old commercials. And I don't know the legality as far as like going on YouTube and, and putting these up but there's a lot of people that spend crazy amounts of money on these blank and they, they're said you know they're they're listed as blank sold as blank because you can't really legally sell uh, the content it's basically like you know ripping cop copyright infringement and stuff like that and so um you know it's all out there i mean like this one you know 30 vhs's there's all kinds of stuff you know in there to look out for and so uh yeah, that's just basically a quick rundown on VHSs. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed this Patreon exclusive video, and we'll see you next time.